Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie Peterson, the author of Dude, Where's My Profit? The Accounting Finally Makes Sense mini course. Today I want to generally talk about cash flow. Cash flow, how it works, uh, reasons why cash flow increases or decreases, and uh, looking at different categories of cash flow. So let's start right out here, cash flow. And I like to represent cash flow by a little diagram like this. We have a bucket here. We've got a faucet coming in here. And we have a faucet coming out here. Now this represents cash in. Think about it as water. And this represents cash out. Now, their bu businesses have to maintain a desired level of cash in their business. Let's assume that this is the ideal level. The ideal level to operate. Now, if the water starts to drop below this point, there are two things that you can do in a general sense. You can increase the cash flowing in, or you can decrease the cash flowing out. Either way, it's going to bring the level back up again. Now let's talk about how we can bring in cash uh, if the level starts to, to drop below this certain point. And remember, these have to be cash transactions. So let's let's say we could we could um, we could have a liquidation sale. Let's take some of the merchandise that's not selling and put it on sale and see if we can generate some cash that way. Another thing we could do is take a look at our receivables. Perhaps there are some that are overdue, but then it's very important to contact these clients and see if you can get some cash this way. And another way would be to, uh, let's suppose you've got an old pickup truck out back, sell a long-term asset. So these are some of the ways that you can bring in cash, and, uh, and the more creative you are, the more ways you can uh, bring it in. Now let's take a look about cash. Look at cash out. What are ways that we can stop the flow of cash? Well, let's see. We could postpone purchases. Postpone purchases. And we could also postpone payments. For example, let's assume that we have a note payable to the bank where we're, where we're paying interest and principal. Approach the bank and they're gonna, I'm sure they'll work with you because they have no interest in adding stress to your business uh, and say, look, for the next three months, could I just can we just make this an interest only payment? An interest only payment. Um, and postpone the payment of the, the principal. Another thing we could do is we could, and it's a little drastic, but we could lay off an employee. And then finally, another one to restrict the flow of cash would be to, to uh, discontinue paying a dividend. So these are ways that cash can come in and cash can go out because we do have to maintain the specific level. Now cash flow is divided up into three categories. Categories of cash flow. Operations,
investing. and financing operations investing in in finance so let's take a look at what each one of these means in a general sense operations is your reason for being in business it's um, you know if you're a taxi company you collect fares and you pay expenses uh, if you are a, an accountant you provide pr professional services and so forth and so on so it's your reason for being in business so it's all of the uh, cash flows related to uh, your operation of your business. In financing, I'll jump down here next, financing is how you get your major sources of cash. And uh, we'll see in just a minute that um, you get financing through bonds, selling bonds, borrowing money from the bank, and also uh, selling stock. And then the cash you generate from financing you're going to make an investment in the business. So, for example, your investing then would be, uh, you know, investing in long-term assets or investing in stock in other companies. Now, before we get into discussing in more detail what the different uh, uh, pluses and minuses are for these, let's talk about investing versus financing. All right, now, so this is the limit of the business. The business starts from here, and this is you. So here's the business, and here is you. When you put cash into the business for some reason, you are making the investment. Now, the cash coming into the business is looked at as financing. All right, so you'll notice that we have a category of investing and financing here and we'll make a distinction between the two in just a second but this is very important I think we really get confused as to v investing and financing so let's talk about operations here first um, operations cash flow cash sales collection of receivables. Cash sales and collection of receivables brings cash in. Payment of operating expenses and interest represent cash out under operations. Now let's jump down to financing. Uh, we finance our corporation. Remember, this is cash coming into the business. We sell stock. We sell stock. We borrow from the bank. Or we sell bonds. that brings in cash from financing. Cash goes out when we pay a dividend. A dividend is a transfer of profits to the stockholders. Now the cash we generate from financing then we use for investing. Um, investing, let's make a plus here. Sell long-term asset or we sell stock in other companies. For example, negative investing would be uh, purchasing a long-term asset or purchase stock in other com in other companies okay so let's take a look at what we've done we've looked at our cash flow in from various sources we have a liquidation sale collect receivables sell long-term asset 
uh, we have cash out, and if we want to restrict the flow of cash so that this level will come up, we can postpone purchases, we can postpone payments, we can lay off an employee, or we can discontinue paying a dividend. Now remember the distinction between financing and investing. You outside the business uh, make an investment by transferring cash into the business. Um, the, the company, when the cash flows in, looks at it as financing. So with financing, we could sell stock or we could, we could borrow from the bank or sell bonds, or and a negative financing is pay a dividend. Now the cash generated from financing goes up here to investing because the business, when they put out cash, uh, they're making an investment. So sell long-term asset uh, for cash, and of course it would have to be for cash, and sell stock in other companies, or we purchase long-term assets and purchase stock in other companies. And last but not least, we have operations. Operations represents uh, the reason for us being in business. It's the sales and collection of receivables that bring in cash, and it's the payment of operating expenses and interest that puts out cash. All right. So. If you have any questions, please contact me through my website. Also, if you have some friends and uh, colleagues that might be interested in this, please turn them on to my website, www.dudewearsmyprofit.com. And thanks for listening.